What is going on guys? Welcome to day two of this 10 day lead guitar challenge where we're learning 10 easy lead guitar riffs and we're looking at the principles of lead guitar and the techniques that we need to look at. Now I've done a few of these 10 day series on YouTube before and day two tends to get way less than half way less than 50% of the views of the first video. So first of all, I just want to thank you for watching this video, for trusting me with your lead guitar journey, and I really hope this is going to be super, super useful for you. If you do choose to watch every video, I'll say that day 10, we're actually going to be looking at a basic way to play Sex on Fire by Kings of Leon, which is probably the biggest indie indie band song of the last 20 years or so. Um, so yeah, it's certainly something to be aiming for if you stick with this journey. But again, I also want to re-emphasize, go easy on yourself. If you miss a day, if it's a week between watching one video and the next, that's okay. The important thing is to come back, find where you were, and then pick it up from where you left off. And you're always in charge with when you do that. The lead line we're going to learn today is from Where Is My Mind by The Pixies. It's another case where the lead line is actually easier than the chords to this song because we do have a couple of bar chords. So let me show you what we're going to go for. So this lead line goes between two notes on string one and string two. And these are actually two notes from an E major chord. Now you may recognize E major chord as being this, but these two notes, if we think about this as actually a D major chord shape moved up one fret and then two frets. So D major moved up two frets, here's the D major, one, two, and this is the sound of an E chord. These are the notes from an E chord. And all we need are the two notes on the thinnest two strings, which will play string one with finger one, string two with finger two. So this is fret four of string one, fret five of string two. Now we need to play those two notes with your fingers really curled over because we're going to need them both to ring out. If we have them really flat, string one isn't going to ring out. So we want to be on the tips like you would play a chord, but we're going to play it with the first two fingers, thumb just sitting on top of the neck, giving us a little bit of something to hold on to so we're not floating or anything. And uh, again, at this side of the fret area, the fret area like this, rather than at this side. If we're at this side, it's, we're going to get buzzing and, and we're going to have to press down way too hard. So we want to be at this side and we're going to pick string two and then string one. Now I'm going to encourage that we pick string two, so the first one, with a down pick and then string one with an up pick. This is just a small extra detail for those of you that want this and want to work on your technique. You know, sometimes we've just got to do what we can to, to get through a song and to play it anywhere we can, but ideally down pick and then an up pick which is both using alternate picking, but is also very economical as well, because we're always moving in the direction of where we want to be next. So we hold down these two notes at all times. They're there. They're not gonna move for the time being. And we pick string two, string one. String two, string one. And we do that four times. One, two, three, four. Please have a go at that now. Just try and make sure that you're resting your uh, thumb of your hand on the thicker strings or the pickup area like this and keeping as small a motion as possible to pick those notes. Please practice that unaccompanied on your own now. It's really important. Once you've done that, the middle finger then wants to move to fret four, the same fret as finger one. So this is going to be a little bit of a squash, but this is the best thing for beginners to do or anyone new to lead guitar because we're going to go from this just to this. We're just going to slide. And then we pick exactly the same again. String two, string one, string two, string one. In total so far that would give us
And then we move the middle finger back to uh, where it was before, back to fret five. First finger lifts off and it's gonna get ready to go down on string two here. And we're gonna play this. One, two, three, four. Now to do that, we're actually strumming both strings together. So it's a little strum of the thinnest two strings of string one and two together. And then to the first finger, back to the middle finger. One, two, three, four. That makes the full thing. Middle finger moves. Middle finger moves again. First finger gets ready here. So hopefully that's something you can do. It will take a little bit of practice every time we learn a new song, because there's always something new to learn with every song that we learn. But that should be pretty quick to learn. And it's certainly, I think, a lot easier than uh, the chords to this song. But with every lesson in this 10-day series, we're going to be playing over those chords and I'm going to use a looper pedal to do that. So let me set up that loop now. We're going to start off at 50% tempo, as always. And then I encourage you to try and play along with me and play along with this rhythm and eventually along to the original recordings so that you can have loads of fun and jam along to records. So I've got the recording in my loop pedal now. I'm going to count in and then join in with me with this simple lead line. We're going to repeat that four times. Let me count you in. Join in with me in two, three, four. Hopefully that's something you can do. You will have to try that multiple times for maximum benefit. And really you, you want to be aiming for uh, being able to play it four times through without making a mistake. So repeating what you've just done there, do the whole thing, do it again, do it again, do it again, without making a note mistake. Now that's very hard, but it's just something to aim for again for maximum benefit. But now we're going to go for 75% of the speed of the original song. I've got those chords in my looper pedal. Get ready, get set, and join in with me in one, two, three, four. And there we go, that is the lead line for day two of this 10 day lead guitar challenge. Uh, remember that was based on two notes from an E major chord and we had some alternate picking in there. We're gonna be covering string bending tomorrow. So this is a, one of the most fundamental uh, skills to be able to get down if you wanna do proper lead guitar playing. So I hope to see you in day two. And if you want to learn how to play the full song, all the chords and everything to Where Is My Mind by the Pixies, I'll link to that 
uh, tutorial video down below. I hope to see you in day three of this free 10 day lead guitar challenge and you'll find more help on the website and on the Andy Guitar app. Links in the description. Hope to see you there guys. Take care. Bye for now.